I'm going to get changed. Ooh, see you in a bit. See you in a bit. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to the Starkers Academy! I am your professor. Starkers Academy 13 is happening tonight. Starkers Academy is a, a life drawing event to give life models that first opportunity to life model. Tonight is being hosted not by me, however, but by uh, the professor. Today we have a newbie, our lovely model, Susie! It's my first time modeling today, uh, so I'm a bit nervous. Obviously I'm not used to revealing myself to complete strangers. Because it's my first time, I'm not sure if I'll be able to come up with good poses that will satisfy. I've been sick for the past few years, uh, which really affected my body. And I think this is, um, this is something that I want to do to take opportunity to rebuild the relationship I have with my body. New Triumphant is about an animation, but it's also about a lot of events that lead up to that. A lot of the character development as well comes out of some of the events that we're hosting. Professor in the new Triumphant is quite a special character. The Starkers Academy is the Professor's baby. The Professor is also a personification of time because Jay needs to learn how to really get along with time in order to get along with himself. It was really lovely, really good fun. I was the professor. I was just there to facilitate the evening, give people advice. There's a kind of cabaret element to her. So she was built um, from like the, the ground, really. So we started with writing. So we had a look at what she would represent, where she would possibly come from, her accent. We looked at different tempo with the voice. Ah. Uh, if you turn um, a little bit away. Yeah, so a little bit, I think there. Yeah, that's good, that's good. New Triumphant is an animated film, a story about someone going through the life modelling process and coming out the other end a much more aware, a much more centred person. The idea came from a blog that I wrote. Um, I have experienced life modelling, I've life modelled for a number of years. It touches on themes of um, my relationship with time. For of us working on the animation side, it's the biggest project I've worked on um, and the biggest team. The process is a little unknown, which makes it quite exciting. Um, so after we've done all the pre-production, the storyboard and the designs and that, we'll move into production starting with watercolour paintings and then we'll uh, take those watercolour paintings and digitise them and move to a um, programme like After Effects uh, and apply digital um, techniques to them. The best way to get creative ideas flowing is to cook a really nice lunch and get everyone around the table. A few weeks ago, a number of the core team met up. Ko and I talked a bit about how we might divide up the animation, who does what. There's some places we do need specific things, like to the city. It needs yes, to be a city. And then in the park, mm -hmm. we need to know it's a park, so maybe there's a tree or something, you know. And there needs to be a bench mm -hmm. for him to sit on. My main character, what I have to draw is the character Jay. What are you most scared about in the project? <sighs> Interview. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever you're ready. Shortcuts, strangers, a red light breaks through the haze, a stroke of amber, and you're off, speeding onwards into grey. I saturate myself with time. I shiver. It hurts. I'm gonna... Sorry, I'm gonna start that again. The script is mostly finalised. The script will be a real work in progress right up until, I think, all of the animations are done. In this space, they brought me into this project as a poet. 
kind of, helping to write the script, helping to flesh out some of the characters and the character of M, who is based on me. It's nice to meet you. Call me M. Might just be able to squeeze in a real session before lockdown, but it all happens super quickly. Yeah, it did. Animated frame by frame, you can see it spins around, mm -hmm. and then I add a um, computer based rotation so it spins on another axis as well. I think this project was full of drama and anxiety. <laughs> the film is done. The main challenges were certainly trying to finish it in time in light of lockdown. I'm really proud of what <laughs> we've achieved. Um, I'm really proud of it because of the people that we've worked with and the community that's come together around this project. The film goes out to festivals. And um, yeah, we hope to be bringing events back as soon as possible. Life drawing, Stargus Academy, you can all join in. <laughs>